Hey, this is Noah Jackson. I'm a CFI at Thrust Flight, and we're going to be talking about my favorite maneuver, the Power Off 180. So my favorite maneuver to teach is the Power Off 180 in the uh, commercial pilot license rating, known as one of the more difficult maneuvers, and it's also the most failed maneuver. And it's uh, pretty fun to do something that, you know, you're taking away one aspect of a landing, so that being your power, and having to utilize, you know, energy management and distance measuring to uh, hit a precise point when you land. And typically when you first start uh, learning it and being examined for it, it is the more common uh, landing to fail. Some three common mistakes that you see on a Power of 180, first being energy management. So that being, you wanna maintain that 76, that best glide uh, speed in order to maximize our glide distance. Students have a tendency to either go too fast or too slow. So really making sure that you are cross-checking all your instruments while still looking at your point to know what do I need to do at that, at that certain moment. But you have to make sure you maintain because students sometimes neglect the airspeed so they get a little too fast, which means they are going to end up floating past their uh, touchdown point. Or they get way too slow and they end up sinking and not knowing and then they, kind of, they don't know what to do in that moment. Uh, so just really making sure that you maintain that 76. The second uh, common mistake is that they're either extending that downwind or they are turning away from that downwind to that base final way too early. Uh, sometimes they don't really pay attention to the winds as much as they should because let's say that on a day that there's a 18 knot headwind and they, they choose to extend their downwind, it usually doesn't end up as well because that uh, headwind is going to be resisting you getting to the runway and when you put in flaps you're going to send a, a faster rate. So sometimes they misjudge that and end up landing short due to that. Uh, the third most common mistake is that they aren't making the power off 180 landing safe. So yes, there is a specified distance uh, minus zero plus 200 of your specified touchdown point. But the biggest thing is you have to be able to make that maneuver as a commercial pilot safely. So they, a lot of students, they end up hitting their points, but they force it down. So the biggest thing is make sure that you're using proper rudder and you're also flaring because the maneuver is not gonna be satisfactory if you're landing unsafe, even if you hit your point. All right, so if you wanna take your power off 180 to the next level, uh, let's say that you're pretty consistent hitting your point. So some other ways that helps you elevate uh, your mastery of the power of 20 is by changing your point. So the most common touchdown point that people choose is a thousand footers. So maybe at the next time you go up or maybe each rep, you're changing your point. You can do the numbers, you can do a thousand footers, you can do 500 footers. Uh, just changing your point to really see if you know the energy management that you need and the correction you have to make with your airspeed rather than just maybe memorizing certain uh, land points or certain points on the runway to kind of help you get to that airport and that being said you can also change the airport because sometimes people have certain landmarks that they like using to turn in rather than actually judging based off of the wind and weather but with the power 180 chair flying is uh, a little bit harder to Im imagine in your head it's more of a repetition thing in the plane because with the power 180 is not really a set step-by-step uh, -step guide on what you're supposed to do so when you're in the downwind and you're a beam, your specified touchdown point, you smoothly uh, bring the throttle to idle. But from there, you can do whatever you need, feel necessary in order to hit that point. So more so training it in the plane when you're getting uh, repetitions is making sure that you kind of have this consistency of what you're doing because everything changes in the landing based on your wind, based on if it's hot or cold. So just knowing in your mind, what can you do to fix in the moment? Every day is obviously different. So you have to kind of judge that when you're actually in the maneuver uh, flying in the plane. Uh, just know that there's not one right way of doing it. Uh, when I went through uh, training, I got taught one way. I ended up using a different way. It's whatever is most consistent and comfortable for you. So just know through your commercial rating that you have lots of time to kind of figure out what is the most consistent and comfortable uh, setup for the Power 180. And if this video was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe.